All right, I'm back. Uh, I moved over to my usual spot. Same date, the time is uh, 1635. Look at this. All right, so you see these two guys crossing up, right? One's headed south towards this anomaly. See the surface? And the other one's headed west to this anomaly. See this planetoid? Like, I don't be trying to catch y'all Space Force, y'all just keep crossing up in my way. And speaking of crossing up, look, crossing up south and uh, west. There's the sun under all this foliage of uh, cloud and debris. The uh, asteroid uh, that I caught earlier, the little moon that crossed up around our moon, is there now. Okay, so a lot of heavenly bodies crossing. This is a planetoid right here. There's a planetoid. There's another big one here. Matem, Nepicity, Atu, Saru. There's another one right there. This guy is passing up under this heavenly body. They don't want y'all to see this, man. This stuff is so beautiful. I'm about to put this camera down and just let it catch a wide angle, but I'm just trying to finagle you in there. Look at that crater. Chemtrailer passing up under all these bodies, man. Look at this. And it's like, like I said, I don't care for what y'all got going on. I'm doing my own thing. I don't interfere with what y'all got doing. You don't see me reaching way up into the sky with my hand and snatching your planes out the sky. So kindly, don't interfere with my videos as I'm recording them because I'm recording the heavenly bodies that's passing. Not worried about Space Force. Y'all keep getting in my way. And I'm going to point you out. You're beautiful, but you, you're in my way. Especially when I have to get these stupid contrail videos. There's one right there. And there's this guy right here. I just had him. I don't want to back my camera out. There he is. This guy right here. And then there's another guy headed by the trees. There he is, that's three. He's going north. One's going west, one's going to the south, one's going north. And my planets are all clustered right here. This is that tight spiral that Sam uh, Hoffman was talking about. You got a planet right here, planet right here, planet right here. Uh, you got a big one back here. And then Alex with his stupid ass comes on and starts talking about there are no sky fields, but he's um, looking in the wrong direction. I think the guy's blind also. My eyes, uh, vision is 20, 20, 20, 10, like literally. So I can't get this wrong. Um, this is just beautiful. Oh, there's another coming. So there's number four right here. Let's see if I can get him. Yep, there he is. Coming out the south. So you got two going north, one going west, one going south. That was number four, number two. Number three. Yep. And where'd one go to? He cut his thrust vector. One is somewhere. He's over here. Not really worried about him. But we got a big planet sitting over here. That's the debris going out uh, north. That's north. There's an asteroid right here. Kind of watch that one fly in. You can see the crater on it. Very big crater. See the round of it. Shows up orange, not because of the sky's hitting it. A cloud. It's showing up orange because that's the iron oxide coming off of it. Rust. All these so-called clouds out here, asteroids. This right here looks like a cloud when I zoom in close. Asteroid. There's another asteroid passing right past behind our moon. This right here. There's our moon. As you can see all this. It's beautiful. You know, I'm not mad. I big up to Space Force. I back any military faction. Buck Rogers, you're looking at, you're looking at Star Trek right here. You, the, the Federation. 
part about that. I'm cool with that. The 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 resistance, the empire. <laughs> I'm all about that business in space. If it's such a thing, and I know it's such a thing, been catching too many UFOs. But I'm just showing y'all the planets that are coming by, and look how they're trying to streak all this out. Trying to make sure that y'all don't see it. Sad. I don't want y'all to see it. Bad for business. Well, just heavenly bodies passing through. I just want y'all to get a good view of it as they're following the sun. You can see my biggest planet right here, rounding and going up into the darkness of space. Again, sun is uh, pardon them, yawning, tired. The sun is not 93 million miles away. It's right here in the Earth's eco-galactic cluster of eco-galactic system. You got these foreign bodies coming out. Look, there's another chemtrailer. See, I'm not dismayed at them. I'm glad they show up, but it's just irritating that my video gets really no views. I know I'm probably beating the same damn dead horse, but I'm doing this consistent thing because I got challenged and I like to beat my opposition up with facts. That's all I'm about when it comes to this. At some point, these things are gonna come down close, whether they're just bodies, spaceships, or heavenly bodies, spaceships, they're gonna come down close and a lot of people are gonna get freaked out but I'm glad to be able to have brought them, you know, this, all this to you. I'm going to go ahead and jump off this. And uh, if anything should pop up, you know me, I'll be all over it. Other than that, I think I'm going to conclude the day. Um, I might hang around just to see what's this going to turn into before it gets totally dark. So I'm going to go get grab something to eat and I'll come back. All right, hang tight, poof. God, there's my rolling planet remember when I showed y'all a video clip actually the full video on it there's this uh, asteroid rolling across the sky that or a planetoid or a moonoid it got a crater in it there it is right there center and it's surrounded by chemtrails one on the bottom one up top this is my second time seeing that. Last time I saw this thing was back in 2020. Um, yup. Oh my God, it's, that's awesome to see my rolling asteroid. Yup, looks the same. So pretty much it rolled across the sky in that same direction. There it is. And it's got a crater going across it they saw it in Russia too but that's it right there I barely recognized it but now we're getting ready to start seeing like um, on good days um, everything that I've seen before this is round two this is freaking dang on awesome but there it is this is awesome That's the one I call the Death Star also. That's probably where they got the Death Star from. It's got a big dent in it, a big crater dent, and it rolls across the sky. There's the chemtrailers, one going that way, one going this way, and this guy down here. Well, let me get back to this. 
I'm gonna take some snapshots of it and um, that'll be for my next, uh, you know, my color coding. Hang tight. Alright, there's my rolling asteroid. Kind of moved, uh, it's actually moving away. So it's kind of stationary per my viewing. Was following the sun. Yep. More chemtrailers. More chemtrailers. So they're following all the way out west. We living in some strange times, y'all. Like a lot of people don't want y'all to know what's going on above your heads. They will call people like me a whistleblower, but I'm not. I'm just showing you what's going on above our heads. I really don't care what the government or anybody's got going on right now. Because I recognize this is a changing of the guard and the end of the world and a lot of foolishness is going on where they tell us to be adultish and mature about things, follow the rules, and then they turn around and subvert so therefore I care no more. The world has changed. They call us illegal. Give us all these erroneous names, but it's we're not the ones we're the ones changing with time. These people are trying to keep time stuck. Alright. I'm out of here. All good. We saw our feel for the day. Haven't seen this in a while. So you all hang tight. Hopefully it should show up tomorrow. Get ready to go inside my favorite store and get some food. There's our moon. Asteroids. More asteroids in the horizon going back east. West is our planet. And asteroids and all that. And Space Force. Alright, third I can poof. Okay, I'm back. Same date. December 28, 2022. And the time is uh 1707, 507 for my civilians. Um in the vehicle. And I'm um, tracking, trying to catch my bigger planet, but of course, these guys keep getting in the way. Uh, got two of them right here. Actually, let me see. That one, there it is. And these two, there we go. These two, that's all I was looking for. All right, so what I'm really trying to get a look at, let me back me off, is this uh, heavenly body right here. Look at it. So that's your whole heavenly body. See how it's all lit up? Normally when the sun gets below the horizon, below meridian, the light of the sun, the glare is out of my eyes and your eyes, and the remainder of the light being angled around and up, and light does being, it hits these heavenly bodies, and they show up really good. And that's literally what I'm waiting on, you know? Let me back you out and show you everything in the West. Oops. So there's everything in the West. Crap plus bodies plus chemtrailers. Not really looking for the chemtrailers. They just keep getting in the way of my view. And then people think they can come and teach me a lesson. They they, they, they haven't recorded any of my video. They just there watching. And they put up these definitions about, hey, third eye cam, let me give you the definition of a contrail. Yeah. And I can tell you to go F yourself. I'm not trying to curse. I'm not trying to do all that. I would really like to. Nothing stopped me from doing it. But you can go F yourself. Because I think I know what I'm doing. I think I'm a bit of a, a major expert. What is this right here? Something out by this chemtrailer. Hold up. Hold up. That's probably a star. I'll break out my night vision. Or it's another chemtrailer. This Okay, that's the star. See that lit up right there? The chemtrailer passed it. And there was a break in the chemtrailer's cloud. So it's got to be Venus. Yep. It's flickering like a star. And this is another craft approaching. I do have my night vision, so I'll break it out and take a look. 
I might be sitting out here for a minute. I think that's meaning, so I'm gonna break out my night vision. I gotta get get it out of my trunk and um take a look. I think that's Venus. Possibly. So what I'm gonna do is grab, grab my night vision real quick and take a look. You can see my biggest planet, all this orange right here showing up. The biggest planet in the back. Camera's picking it up real good. Not just light straying everywhere. Straking. Um, let me see. My camera's too big to set up on this dashboard. Let's see if I can fit it. Nope, won't fit. So I'm gonna go grab my uh, night vision and take a look at this lit up area. Hang tight. All right, so I found a way to prop my camera up. I'm getting my night vision now. I'm gonna take a look over at this lit up whatever that was look like kind of okay i see it all right cool and the good thing is my camera can sit here and look at these bodies passing which i'm gonna draw down on them um get the trees out the way there we go specifically that one Now you can see my Venus star and a couple of asteroids around it. Those are asteroids. Though. Everything that's lit up in red is an asteroid and you can see the Venus star. I'm trying to get it at the right angle. There we go. That's what lit up when the chem trailer passed it about 10 minutes ago. Couldn't really see it. And that's Venus. I can see Jupiter up by the moon, I'll show you later. Y'all can see those asteroids are passing off. What I'm doing is just looking for like this light dispersion. You can see it all above the sun. Um That's part of our bigger planet in the back. Maybe the brown dwarf star. I mean, the sky is allowed to light up, but it's lighting up really awkwardly. In contrast to the, to the rest of the sky, it goes from like a bright orange to just a really nominal look on both sides of that. Even though the sun is close um, in our neighborhood, so everything just showing up really awkward. There's an asteroid. Mm. Actually, that's a portion of our body showing up. Right here. See the curvature? That's one of my bigger planets showing up. That's cool. You're actually seeing the side of the planet lighting up and it's so close to Earth that it's really faint, but it's far away enough where the sun is not lighting it up. And yeah, these planets are still sitting here just cause the sun went down. We don't get to see all their features, but we're catching the faint features of it. And I can see this whole thing myself. You're kind of seeing it there. That's your planet sitting above the trees. That's its crater. One of them. Getting as close as we can. So that's yeah, that's one of your planet um surfaces. And there's a chemtrailer coming, see? These guys, they, they just don't stop. They can still see it. But we can't down here. 
but the further up you get, you get along, the better you can see it. That's your whole planet surface. That's why I'm kind of just sitting here waiting. I want to see this stuff show up. So for you all to think that we're crazy just because we're talking about planets in the sky up close to Earth, and then you got the, the wounded pride in wounded pride in individuals who keep saying they're in the sky fillers, but they don't show any proof other than pointing their cameras in uh, in the opposite direction of the sky fillers to, to deceive everybody because they follow the mandate of the devil because these planets coming in are of God, the Most High in the Bible, speaking about how the signs in the sky would. Um, proceed him, and there you go. And I keep catching them. It's a lot going on. I don't know the totality of everything that's going on, but I know what I'm seeing. And notice how this cloud's features have not changed. That's another thing I'm waiting on. This so called cloud, which is a planet, features have not changed. They're just moving along. Y'all heard the song from the Muppets moving right along. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is a portion of it beautiful ain't it and that would make sense the light coming off of this planet is lighting up the sky over here back towards the sun that's why i was sitting here trying to figure out like where is the actual body at so the sun's hitting the lit side of this planet and it's bouncing back across the sky at the sun lighting up across our atmosphere and voila and that's why we get this orange dispersal in the sky also behind me, the whole sky lit up orange at the horizon. Sky, the light dispersal. Let me swing back around to my plane. I want to capture the whole shebang. Shaboing, boing, boing. I'm going to switch over to my other camera. All right, this is my other camera. I'm trying to see if I can catch any other differences in the, uh, with what's going on with the sky. But you can see my planet half lit, tracing across the sky, I'm gonna put it in the middle. And that's the side that's being lit up by our sun as the sun goes away, and then this is the rest of the dark side of the whole thing. And if you're not looking at it straight, you'll think it's just a cloud in the sky, and that's how you get tricked. It's the whole planet. Alright, so I switched back to the camera that actually um, has a better visual on this planetoid slice that's being lit up. So this camera's more acute and you can actually see uh, Venus be located, zoom in on it before it goes away. There it is. I'm going to zoom in on it as it gets brighter. I see a chemtrail also. So there's Venus. Get in close on it. And another star. Also a uh, host of asteroids. Closer to the Earth. Looking at them through my night vision. And I'm getting a quick look at my planet. Slice. Alright, we're done with Venus. Let me back this off. Catch my planet slice as it goes away. Most stars coming out. So that planet slice might actually just be an asteroid. Well, I'm gonna do a spin around here in a minute. Get a look at my star field. Since the stars are starting to come out, I really wanted to get a look at this asteroid or planet slice that's passing on. As you can see lit up, you can start, you see uh, the star on the other side of it is being lit. There's still my little asteroid or planetoid deal. Little star right there. Get you past the dashboard, getting light reflection back. Yeah. Oh my God, there's my bigger planet. Holy jeez. Y'all see it? Do y'all freaking see it? There it is. Oh my God. Look at this. Hang tight, y'all. 